you know it gets gets me about the whole cash bail versus uh bail bond versus pretrial services expansion i've never quite heard the argument against why you couldn't just expand pretrial by itself without any changes like why must you go and alter the cash bail system or alter the bail bond system when essentially what you want to do is expand pretrial services and extend it to the people who can't qualify for the other options i've never quite heard an argument as to why they couldn't just do it independently like you don't have to stop another agency from doing their thing in order to reinvest in what could be the free version well because you have people with an agenda i, I think the same thing as a matter of fact mm -hmm. i've always said that let the people that can afford bail post bail and then focus your resources and time on those and you know looking at the cases of those who are unable to post bail and spend your mm -hmm. efforts there rather than trying to eliminate the entire system and now you've got that whole problem in your lap that you're having to pay for and fund mm -hmm. and but it's just the um, it's the mindset of, of reformers they want to come in and just get rid of everything that was in the past so they could put their system in place or no system at all in, in this case and so that's always been puzzling because i think where we get trapped uh, on the bail side is we kind of think more logically it's like oh okay well you know yeah there probably could be some tweaks here and there uh in the system you know and they go oh so you think there should be bail reform it's like well, wait a minute i just said that there could be some tweaks i'm not saying that we should throw the baby out with the bathwater on the whole program so they just really want you to kind of you know concede a little bit of space and then they could take that and run with it but if you ask them to say hey can you can you concede some space you know concede something on it no no absolutely not bail is is wrong people shouldn't have to post bail to get out they're innocent until proven guilty all the you know yada 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 all these same talking points that they have over and over again but um you know the interesting thing just here in uh, in indiana a county south of us in johnson county they put out something for uh, public comment because the judges wanted to change their bail schedule to and remove uh, corporate surety from an option and just reduce it to just a cash bail system only with the maximum bail on murder charges and aggravated offenses being four thousand dollars cash bail oh wow and so um so we you know abc sent something down there i wrote some a letter down there on behalf of our company we're domiciled here in indiana and some bail agents weighed in and basically saying that you know for four thousand dollars cash that's a forty thousand dollar bond that you know the people with third parties would have to come in and co-sign and and they pay the money and that way you have a third party not only co-signers but also a surety company bail agent all looking out for this guy to make sure he comes back to court and you're just reducing it down to the cost of that so it just seems like you're just doing this to enrich the court so you can cover fines and costs on the case but you're not really considering uh, the fact that the bail bond is to guarantee appearance in court. So, you know, so fortunately they uh, gave them pause and um, they decided that they're supposed to go be implemented this week. And because of that input, they decided, well, wait, we're going to look at this a little bit further and they're not going to do anything, at least consider doing anything until, until uh, this coming June. So, so I was really pleasantly surprised because there's a lot of 10% cash bill done in Indiana and i was pleasantly surprised that they actually listened to our arguments and said well wait a minute maybe if we do go this route maybe it's really going to create a lot of problems and uh create some uh, you know bad press if you will on the judges if they let someone out on a murder charge and it's a four thousand dollar cash bond and they go out and hurt somebody um you know, then that's going to be a, a problem for them but I, hopefully they just realized that wait this was wrongheaded this was not the way to go what were we thinking we didn't really consider all these other factors um so so that had some um uh some upside 